My friend said that I can only wear tank tops if I have muscles. Oh yeah? How do you like me now, huh? Hey guys, my name is Dwayne The Rock Johnson and today we're creating one of my favorite cartoon characters of all time. That's right, SpongeBob SquarePants. I always really like the design of SpongeBob SquarePants and so that's why we're making them today. So let's get started. Now this video is sponsored by Dreamline Fondant. So I really liked using this fondant because it made creating all of SpongeBob's features super easy because this is crack resistant. If you haven't tried it yet, make sure you do. Let's create this SpongeBob cake. I'm starting with a square cake pan. I'm using a 10 inch square cake pan. You can use whatever cake pan. I mean, it depends on how big you want the cake to be. How many people are coming to your party? Because I'm only really a party of one ever. So even this is too big for me. Actually, this, this might just be the perfect size for me. I put on my SpongeBob SquarePants shape, divided my cake, and just started to do all of the cake basics. This guy has been around for like a million years. Everybody watches him still. And I know that the newer videos aren't as good as the older videos, but I just, I don't know if I can ever get sick of this squeaky voice. <laughs> Although Patrick is my favorite. Would you guys want to see a Patrick cake? I think I would. Now my favorite part of this cake is that it didn't need carving at all. At all, at all. I just gave this baby a crumb coat and placed it into the fridge to chill. And when my cake was in the fridge, I was actually working on my scary stories to tell in the dark cake, so I was just like switching them out. So I put SpongeBob in the fridge, I took the pale lady out, was doing some work, put her in the fridge, took SpongeBob out, just rotating. While I was listening to some Lauren Hill, um, it makes you feel so emotional and so lovey-dovey. So if you don't know who she is and you're not familiar, go check her out. Now when I was adding on SpongeBob's pants, this was actually a technique that I saw on Instagram. I forgot who it was though. To get the square shape, I actually just pinched each of the sides and then cut away the excess fondant with a pair of scissors. So we have nice sharp edges on this cake, which I'm really proud of. You see? It's a trigger, you guys, because this is the gun show. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Now to create SpongeBob, I'm using yellow fondant and I added some waves to the bottom of it before I placed it on the cake. And then I did what I did at the bottom and just pinched the edges and cut them away with a pair of scissors. And so one thing that I love to do in Los Angeles is go to theme parks. Disneyland, Universal Studios, they're so close to me. And one of the things I really want them to build is a Krusty Krab. I don't know why they didn't do that at Universal Studios. You know, they could have a SpongeBob SquarePants ride. But I'm more interested really in just eating a Krusty Krab burger. That's all I want. It is a huge missed opportunity. They could be making billions. Now one of the things that I wasn't sure of how I was going to do was Spongebob's cheeks. I added another piece of fondant and just blended it to the main piece of fondant so that I could get his cheeks just right. And then I finished by adding all of Spongebob's features. His eyelashes were cool because they were so easy to make. I just love how thick they are. I loved adding all of the light and dark detail to his eyes because it changed the way that this cake looks so dramatically. It looked very flat before and now there's a lot more depth. Then I started to add his feet or a little bit of his feet because I didn't want to have to make his shoes so I just cut it off where the cake board ended. That's what happens when you're lazy. Now I added some catch lights and I wasn't going to do this initially but I gave him hands, which was kind of hard to make, but because of the fondant that I was using, it was really easy. It rolls really thin and it doesn't crack. So shaping all of his fingers and making it thick at one part and then making his arms like really thin and long, it was really easy. After I finished giving him a, a wavy hand, my SpongeBob cake was complete. He's so happy, this guy. Have you guys ever wanted to eat a Krusty Krab? I think that's one of the foods I really want to try. I've had the Krusty Burger from The Simpsons at Universal Studios, but I want the Krusty Krab Burger. Now I'm curious, would you guys like to see me make Patrick Star? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the gun show. I love you, I will see you very soon. 
Peace.